Hey guys, I know my help here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to share with you guys a few iPhone settings that I think you should turn on right away, right now after watching this video. These are gonna be settings that are really useful and actually improve the overall user experience. So let's just dive right in. Now the first one is within the watch application. If you have an Apple Watch and you own, of course, an iPhone, if we head on over to the hand watch option right here, we have the hand watch timer. Now this feature allows you to start a timer on your Apple Watch or allows the Apple Watch to start a timer as you wash your hands. Now we know nowadays with the whole situation that's going on, washing your hands for 20 seconds is one of those things that is recommended. And I think this one is a very useful setting. It's one of those that I think should be on for all Apple users that have an iPhone and an Apple Watch. Once you start washing your hands, it can detect the motion of your hands and the sound of water to actually activate and start the countdown. And that way, every time you go to wash your hands, the Apple Watch will let you know if you properly washed your hands for 20 seconds. So it's a really cool option that I believe everyone should have on right away on their iPhones and on Apple Watch. Now this next one has to do with medical ID. So if you ever have an emergency, hopefully not, but if you ever do, and you need the first responders to have information about you, you can display the medical ID card under the emergency tab there on the lock screen and then click on emergency or my medical ID. This gives the uh, first responders information like your name, date of birth, if you're an organ donor or not, any medical conditions, any medications that you may be taking, anything at all that you want to share with first responders from the lock screen, it is available right there under medical ID. Let me show you that again. If someone swipes up, they don't have access obviously to your phone, they can click emergency and right there it is, medical ID and this will provide first responders with very vital information that could help save even your life. So this one I think everyone should enable. To enable this one, all you have to do is go to settings, find the health extension, right there it is. Then you wanna go to medical ID and set up your medical ID. Now I've already had done that, so I can click edit here and add any additional information like medical notes, any allergies, any medications, weight, height, date of birth, emergency contact, show on lock screen, show when locked. That was the option I just showed you. You wanna make sure that is on. Also, share during emergency call. You can also share this medical ID with first responders when you make an emergency call. So if you dial 911, dispatch will receive your information and this could be life-saving information in most cases. So make sure you set up your medical ID. Definitely one of those settings that you may want to have on on your iPhone right away. Now this next one is for those bot calls and those annoying phone calls that you get every single day. I'm sure most of us get them every single day for scams, spams, and whatnot. If we go to settings here and we go to phone, under phone extension, we have silence unknown callers. Now this option here, you can enable, and this will silence everyone that isn't in your contacts list. Now, phone calls from people in your contacts, from serious suggestions, and outgoing recent calls, even if they're not in your contacts, will still continue to ring as an incoming call. For those that are not in your contacts, and it's a brand new number that you know nothing about, it will be sent directly to voicemail, and then they can leave a voicemail and you can call back, and the missed call will always show on your recent under phone. So under recent, even the phone doesn't ring, it'll still show that you did receive a call from an unknown number. It just won't ring. Again, only rings for calls that are from your contacts, recent outgoing calls, and calls from serious suggestions. So that's an awesome option to prevent those bot calls, spams, or scams that are be going around forever. Now this next one has to do with photos on your iPhone. If you want to truly hide photos in your albums, all you have to do is press and hold on an image, go ahead and click the share options, and you can click hide. Now this option sends your photo to a hidden album under albums, but if your iPhone is unlocked and someone was to grab your phone, they can still see those images right there. How to hide this particular option right here, simply go to settings, go to your photos extension. So let's go ahead and find the photos extension. There it is. And then under photos, you want to go ahead and turn off hidden album. And this will hide the actual extension to that option. There it is, completely disappeared under utilities there. It is no longer visible. If I turn it on, it is right there. It appears again. There it is. And if I turn it off, then it disappears and it really hides the photos 
from the view. So highly recommend Hidden Albums Toggle. Go ahead and make sure you actually disable this one to get advantage of really hiding the photos in your albums. Now the next one has to do with photos. If you love to take pictures and you like to edit your pictures on your iPhone, then this one is for you. Under the camera extension, under format, you have the new feature, Apple Pro Raw. Now this feature is awesome, especially at night, since it allows the lens to allow more light. Therefore, when you go to edit your pictures, you have more control over the actual files. So you have more flexibility in editing the exposure, the white balance, and you have just more range of options to choose from once you go to edit that image to make it look very, very cool. Also more dynamic range and controls over your edits. So once you enable this feature, the option is on the top right portion right there. You can enable it or disable it. You can see that right away. More light goes into the lens. You can see that it brightens up and then you can take a brighter picture and have more controls over your edit with Apple Pro Raw. And last but not least, I'd like to talk about the music. Music on your iPhone, if you play a playlist, you can actually have the animated artwork. So for example, if I go here into music and I play one of these playlists, let's say the feel good playlist here, let's find a playlist, let's say the happy hour playlist, you see that the screen sort of takes up a half of the display and the album work would actually start moving. As you can see right there, not, not every single one of these options or playlists uh, do have this motion on their artwork, but the ones that do extend like that halfway through, you see that they do have animated artwork right there, as you can see. From these images, you can actually see the actual artwork move in the playlist for your iPhone. Now, to enable this, all you have to do is head on over to settings, head on over to the music extension, and there it is, animated cover art. And this allows you to always have it on, only have it during Wi-Fi, or completely turn it off. This is a great feature, especially on iPads when it's on landscape mode, and you're on a playlist like this one here. It looks amazing. It looks really cool. I think it's awesome, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Animated artwork for your albums and playlists, as long as they're supported, by the way. And that is pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys. A few settings that I think everyone should turn on on your iPhone for a better user experience overall. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.